Let us practice solving compositions of functions for j. So we need to find our f circle g of x for the given functions, f of x is equal to x, and g of x equal to x plus 1. So when we say compositions of functions, we normally see our uh, symbol here, just like an O, that is read as a circle. So when you say f circle g of x would mean that the first mentioned name of function here shall be our container meaning to say it contains the g of x so meaning you are going to let your g of x be an input value for your f of x so again when you say f circle g of x that will be the same as when you say f of g of x wherein our input value now is our entire g of x. So let's go back to our f of x. f of x here has an x. We are going to change that into our entire g of x, which is x plus 1. So you will be doing like this. So f of, instead of your x, you will be replacing the input value by the entire g of x, which is x plus 1. We go back to our f of x. f of x here, instead of uh, doing that one as our x, we will then be evaluating that one in terms of our x plus 1. So automatically, we'll be replacing our x on our f of x into our parenthesis and then replacing that one with our x plus 1, or simply that is equal to x plus 1. So that is now our f circle g of x. So let us now go for another example. Let us try to find the g circle f of x. Now f circle g of x and g circle f of x are not the same. So if you are having here a g circle f of x, that would simply mean that the container function is the g of x, meaning you are going to look at your g of x here and consider replacing our x by our second function, the entire f of x. So again, we're going to write our notation f, I mean g circle f of x, that will be equal to g of x so instead of x here we will then be replacing that one with the second function mentioned the f of x then we go back to g of x so instead of g of x that will be the f of x will be uh, replaced by the value here which is x and then we are going to go back to g of x g of x has x we replace that one with parenthesis and a plus one now this parenthesis will be inputted with an x here as our input value so this is now equal to x plus one so this is now g circle f of x so next let's go for another example for us to practice more so you may pause the video and then resume the video if you've got the answer already. So let's start with this one. So f circle g of x. So again, our container function is the f of x. So we have f circle g of x. That will be equal to f. And then we've got here, instead of your input value, as an x, we are replacing that one by the second function mentioned here as the g of x. Then that will be equal to f of, we replace the g of x by what it is equal to. So we've got 4x plus 5. Then we are to evaluate our f of x in terms of this value here. Going back to f of x, we've got 2. Then we replace x by a parenthesis first. Then we have minus and then another 3. Then we are going to input what we have here as our input value. So this is 4x plus 5. Then we are going to simplify. Distributing our 2 inside. So this is 2 times 4. That's 8. Copying x. 
2 times 5, that's 10. So this is a plus 10. Then we have minus 3. So next, let's simplify this one further. So 8x. Then we have 10 minus 3. That's equal to 7. So we've got f circle g of x. That will be equal to 8x plus 7. So let us try to look for the g circle f of x with the same given function. So we've got here g circle f of x. This is equal to g of, the input value will be now your second function, f of x. Then we are going to replace our f of x by what it is equal to. We've got 2x minus 3. Then we go back to our g of x, this one here. Then we consider writing 4. Then x will be replaced with a parenthesis. Plus 5. Then we input this input value, which is 2x minus 3. Then distribute 4. So this is now 4 times 2x. That will be 8x. 4 times negative 3. That will be minus 12. Because that's a negative, so automatic that becomes a minus 12 here. And then we've got a plus 5. Simplifying that one, that's 8x. Negative 12 plus 5, that's equal to negative 7. So that is now our G circle F of x. So let us go for another example. So we have G circle F of x for the given functions here x squared plus 2x minus 3 and g of x, which is equal to x plus 1. So let's start with g circle f of x. So this is now equal to g, and then we've got the second function as f of x. Then we are going to replace our f of x by what it is equal to. So we've got that as x squared plus 2x minus 3. Then we go back to the g of x. We've got x here, and then we have plus 1. Our parenthesis will be now replaced with, or inputted with, our input value, which is the entire f of x. So we've got x squared plus 2x minus 3. Then we try to get the parenthesis out, so we've got x squared plus 2x, negative 3 plus 1, that's negative 2, or minus 2, and that will be our g circle f of x. So let us now go for another example. So we have here f circle g of x. So this is now f circle g of x. Our first function is mentioned as f. So we've got f. Then the second function should be inside. Then we replace our input value, which is the second function. We've got x plus 1. Then we are going to go back to our f of x and then replace our x. So we've got x squared. Then plus 2. Another x in here. And then we've got minus 3. Input now our input value to the parenthesis. So we've got x plus 1 here. x plus 1 also here. Now for this one, we need to expand this one. This is square of a binomial, so it's up to you if you wanted to do the expansion of that one using the special product, wherein you are going to square the first term, then twice the product of the, second, the two terms, and then square of the second term. Or you may expand this one using x plus 1 times x plus 1. Because when you raise that 1 to the power of 2, that means to say that the entire base, which is x plus 1, will be multiplied by itself twice. So we've got this one. We can do the distribution here. So 2 times x, that will be 2x. 2 times 1, that's 2. And then we copy 3. Next, we are going to do the FOIL method here if you want. So x times x, that will be x squared because we're adding the exponents. Next, we go for x times 1 for the outer terms. So that will be plus x. We go inner, so this is 1 times x. Then we go for the last term. That will be 1 times 1, which is 1. 
So we've got plus 2x. We can try to combine this one. This is minus 1. Then combine like terms. So this is now x squared plus 2x. This is 2x plus 2x. That will be 4x. And then 1 minus 1, that's a 0. So this is now our f circle g of x. That will be equal to x squared plus 4. So we go now for our last example here. So this time, we are going to do an evaluation um, based on the composition of functions. So again, you can do the composition first of this one. So let's have f circle g of x first. So that will be equal to f of the g of x. So let's now write our g of x. Okay, our g of x here is x minus 1. Then we have our f of x minus 1. We go back to f of x. Then we write our x there and replace that one with a parenthesis. So we've got x and then we square plus x and then we subtract that one by 2. Inputting our input value on the parenthesis, we've got x minus 1 here and x minus 1 here. Then we do our special product. So we can do our special product here this time. So we are going to square the first term. So that will be x squared. Then we are going to multiply the 2, x times 1, that's x. Double that 1, that will be 2x. Then this is minus here, so we follow the sign of the binomial. So we have minus 2x. Then we square our second term, and that will be equal to 1. Or you can do the FOIL method again, so that's really up to you. And then we've got plus x, minus 1, minus 2. So next one, we are now going to combine like terms. So x squared, negative 2x plus x, that will be negative x. 1 minus 1, that's a 0. Minus 2, that's a minus 2. So we've got f circle g of x. That will be x squared minus x minus 2. But we're not yet done because what we're looking for is our f circle g of 1. So let's now evaluate the result based on the input value as 1. So f circle g of 1. We now go back to this one here, to this line, and then replace our x here for another parenthesis again. Then we have square minus parenthesis minus 2. Then on the parenthesis, we are now replacing that one with the value 1. And that will be equal to 1 squared, that's 1 minus 1, minus 2. So this is now 0 minus 2. That's equal to negative 2. So this is now the result of f circle g of 1, which is equal to negative 2. Now, you can do the evaluating of all your function first and then do the composition of that one. I mean, evaluating of your second function. You can go for the second function because, again, what we are trying to input on our function is the second function. So whatever is mentioned as the second function here, automatically we evaluate that one based on this value. And then we try to do the composition. So that's really up to you. So again... This has been your teacher Jenny saying, I hope you were able to learn something and please practice, always do practice in math and that makes it perfect.